Good afternoon, I'm Sonica Vargo. And I'm James Crummel. Police are investigating the death of a Harrisburg teenager. He was killed in a shooting. It happened last night in Allison Hill. Kendra Nichols joins us with more. Kendra. Yeah, we have learned the victim was a 15-year-old male. The Harrisburg City spokesman says the motive for the shooting is unknown at this time. Here's what we do know. Last night around 8.30, police were called to the 1900 block of Bow Street for reports of a gunshot victim. When police arrived, they found that 15-year-old male with a gunshot wound, and he was rushed to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Details are limited at this time due to this being an ongoing investigation. I know police are following up on uh, some leads, uh, some tips came in. We, we've had uh, some cooperation uh, from the community, um, and that is all we can say at this time uh, due to the nature of the investigation. The victim's name has not been released by officials. The Harrisburg School District would not confirm if he was a student in the district. And I have to say, it's good to hear that the community is getting some tips, giving some tips, because we don't always hear that in these shootings. Yeah, and, and Kendra, so I know you said that the motive, they don't know about that yet, but did police give any update on whether they think this was a random act? They have not said anything, only that it's ongoing. And again, that the tips are coming in. They're looking into those today. I can tell you that the city spokesman said this is the 12th homicide this year. Um, they had a rough march. He said after that happened, that's when they implemented more uh, patrols or saturation. They, they brought in the help of other agencies, uh, the Dauphin County Sheriff's Department, the FBI, to kind of saturate what they would call hot spots. We do know that Allison Hill is considered a hot spot. What we don't know if this exact block was in that area. It's hard to focus on something they're saying those patrols have helped, you know, in light of this happening, but they are saying they've seen a decrease since they've started doing that. We'll look to see if we get some more information about this particular shooting, though. Hopefully they'll give out some more information later on today. I know you'll be on this story. Kendra, thank you very much for that live update for us this afternoon.